This is Alan Bush with Archer Financial Services. We're going to start out with stock index futures as usual. This market put in a pretty good performance so far today, even though we did have the 730 economic reports uh, coming in a bit on the weak side. In fact, we had jobless claims at 386,000. That was 6,000 more than uh, in the previous week. Also, we had the May Consumer Price Index falling more than expected, down 0.3%. The guess was down 0.2%. And yet futures are higher now. Anytime a market can ignore bearish news as what we are seeing now uh, in stock index futures, that often is a sign that we will see uh, higher prices for today's trade. So some negative news being ignored, and I think that is a very good sign of some follow-through gains today in the stock indices. We do have the Fed meeting coming up next week, the 19th and the 20th. That's a two-day meeting. A statement will be released after the meeting is out of the way. There is a growing possibility in, in the eyes of uh, many analysts that Fed actually could announce or maybe hint at easier credit and I think that influence is likely to keep stock index futures firm today and in, in advance of that meeting. So with what we're seeing, how futures are reacting to the news and the possibility of good news from the Fed, I would expect futures to trade higher from current levels today and early next week ahead of that Fed meeting. As far as the currencies, we're seeing the European currencies holding up relatively well. This also being affected, I believe, positively by the prospect of easier credit from the Fed that, of course, from an interest rate differential point of view, is bearish to dollar and friendly for uh, foreign currencies. So I think the euro currency will hold up relatively well today in, in advance of the Fed meeting, even though we do have quite a few problems in the eurozone. Just uh, overnight, we had Spain's sovereign debt yielding 7.01%, and that's under 10-year bond. That is a very critical level because 7% is where other member nations of the Eurozone were forced to seek bailout money from the uh, European Union and the IMF. So after the Fed meeting is out of the way, I think we'll see problems in the Eurozone dominating, taking the Euro currency lower. I think a lot of these same influences that are supporting the commodity currencies, the Australian dollar and the Canadian, namely prospects of easier credit from the Fed, that bullish influence will be over after the Fed meeting is out of the way. And I would expect a new leg down for the Australian dollar and the Canadian, but not until that Fed meeting has concluded. And credit markets, of course, anytime that there's uh, the possibility of easier credit from the Fed, that is a bullish factor. And I would expect the treasuries to hold up well. In fact, I think that we will see the highs for the move uh, in the Treasury futures being challenged in the weeks ahead. So look for better prices in the credit markets. Uh, I think this is a trend that will last for several months. But once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.